Good morning, friends. Disclaimer, we're going to use our puppets for today's lesson. But if you don't have a puppet, don't worry. You can choose a stuffed animal or a toy of your choosing, okay? Example, if I didn't have my puppet, I would choose this toy. But if you do have your puppet, this is what we need to use for today. Good morning, kindergarten. I hope that you're having a fantastic start to your day. I'm excited to introduce today's project to you. Now, I know originally that I had asked for you to bring these materials to work on today, but we're actually gonna save this project for Monday. I loved working with you on your puppets so much yesterday. I want to make sure that I can be live with you when we do this project, okay? So you can put this project aside and I'll tell you the other materials that you will need to do the work for today, okay? You will need the puppet you made yesterday and you will need crayons or markers or colored pencils, whichever one you have at your home. Crayons, markers, colored pencils, any of them will work. You'll need a regular pencil and a piece or two of blank paper. It can be notebook paper with lines. You just wanna make sure there's no writing or no pictures on the paper already, okay? So just to review, you will need your puppet, colored pencils, crayons, or markers, two pieces of blank paper, it can be computer paper or notebook paper, and a pencil, okay? So go get those materials and come right back. Hit pause on the video, Go get your materials and come right back. So my friends, with these materials today, we are actually going to make a backdrop or a background for our puppets. And before we get started thinking about drawing our backgrounds, I want us to remember a little bit about where the cheetah is from. If you remember from the day we read the book, I love being a cheetah, we learned that the cheetah lives in the African savanna. And this book actually has some incredible illustrations of what the African savanna looks like. So I thought we could revisit some of the pages to get some inspirations for our own backgrounds, okay? Let's take a look, for example, at this page. What are some of the things that you notice in this picture? You can call them out loud to the computer. What do you notice? What do you see in this picture? There's a sign, a beautiful sunny sign. It's usually very, very hot and sunny in the African Savannah. So we'll want to make sure that we draw a sun somewhere in our de design for sure. And if we take a look at the ground, we'll notice that there is a combination of dirt and different kinds of grasses because there's a lot of different kinds of grass on the savanna. Lemongrass, red oat grass, all kinds of different grasses. And look, this tree is perfect for the cheetah to lay in. The branches, instead of going up, 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 go out. This is a baobab tree. So if we look at the colors here, we can see, well, what colors do you see in the background of this picture? Lots of greens and oranges and browns and blues. Here we can see that similar color scheme. And we can actually see that the cheetah here is sitting on like a little rock. 
we can see some mountains in the background. Gorgeous. If we look at this picture, my goodness, what color do we see here? And the cheetah is sneaking through the tall, waving grass. This is oat grass. Lots of oranges and browns and some yellow. If we look here, we can see all of those colors repeated again. The orange and the yellow and the green. So I want you to think about all of these different plants and grass and trees that we saw in the African savanna in this book. I want you to think about what you'd like to put for your background. Okay? So pause the video for a second and think about what kind of plants, dirt, trees, you're going to draw on your background. And when you've thought of a few ideas, hit play again, okay? All right, my friends. Since we're making a background, I thought I would give you a few tips on making a background for your puppet. The first thing we want to really think about doing is we want to create a line for the ground, okay? So everything below that line is a part of the ground and everything above it is a part of the sky, okay? So I'm gonna put that line about right here. Okay. And what are some things that we saw in that book that were a part of the ground? There were a lot of different kinds of grass so I'm gonna draw some strands of grass and you can draw little pieces of grass however you like, okay? And then I thought I'd share with you a few tips for drawing trees. One of the most important parts of a tree is the tree trunk, the large brown trunk that helps the tree stand firmly in the ground. So to draw a trunk, I'm just going to draw one line and another line close by. Then I want to make sure that I have some greenery. And friends, you can feel free to draw trees however you want, okay? These are just some tips in case you need a little help getting started, okay? I might put a little bush beside the tree, add a flower on it. Maybe I'll put some of that the oat grass, like we saw the cheetah moving through. Okay. Maybe I'll draw one more tree over here. And you can make the greenery at the top different, however you want, my friends. Totally up to you. Then maybe in the background, I'm going to put a mountain. Okay. So you can do that however you want. And then you can also add in another another 
backdrop. Okay, you can add in another backdrop to go along so that you have two or you have a continuation of one. Maybe I'd put mine up here so that these grass lines are the same, okay? Draw your two backdrops and then color them, okay? So pause the video and get started. Now, my friends, you can see that I have hung up my background. So now it's time to play with my puppets in front of it. Charlie the cheetah. Welcome to the African Savannah. How are you today? I can run so fast. Zip, 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 zap. <sighs> you can even make your puppet talk to another one of your toys. The savannah is amazing. What's your favorite thing to do here? Oh, Uni, I love to run. I'm super fast. Zip, zip. Would you like to run with me, Uni? Oh, yeah, Charlie, I love that. Let's run. Friends, I hope you had an excellent time playing with your puppet and making a background for your puppet today. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, Fran and I wish you a happy Thanksgiving, okay? Enjoy your break and post a picture of your puppet in your background. I can't wait to see it. You can even send me a recording if you want to. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>